to. Hi everyone, I'm Susan Good and I'm the founder and head of school of Glen Oak Academy. Today we're having an open house and you know what? I think we're kind of competing with the beautiful weather that we have outside today. So I'm going to take you for a quick tour of our fabulous small school with a big heart. And I'm just going to show you um, Mississauga's probably best kept secret. Come on in. We're in our lobby. We're going to head downstairs and I'm going to take you through the primary division, our grade three, four class and our senior class as well. And I'll point out some things along the way. So come on in. This is our foyer area and our reception area where guests and visitors to the school check in. But we're going to take a look at our kindergarten class here and we're just going to peek in. It will be a very quick tour. Here we have a wonderful, interactive, friendly, caring environment, a balance of play-based learning and uh, structured teaching and learning as well. You'll see the kids reflected in the walls of the classroom and in the work that they do. So this is our wonderful kindergarten class. We do have spaces for September, so do think about it and call us. If you do um, think that your child would be a great fit for our school, we're certainly happy to give you a personalized tour and answer any questions you have at all. This is our grade one, two class. Again, the kids are reflected in everything that is this classroom. It's um, always the Ontario curriculum and our teachers are certified educators in good standing with the Ontario College of Teachers. Come on in this way. Hi. Here's Miss Gilbert. Hi everyone. And Welcome. Ms. Ms. Gilbert is our principal. Um, she's here every day welcoming all the students, all the families, and just does a wonderful job of keeping our school running and, and just being the best that it possibly can be. Thanks for taking a peek. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> now we're going to go down here. We do have a resource program. So our resource program is for students that may need some extensions to their learning or maybe um, they need to brush up on some skills. So our teacher, Ms. Myers, is um, head of our resource department here and she works out of this wonderful beautiful little office so this is where the magic happens in miss meyer's uh little resource room she also assists within the classroom as well um and we're going to take you on down into miss summer's classroom this is a bit of a shared space so the shared space starts with a little area here for the teachers in terms of preparation um, quiet reading buddies can work in here, the older students with the younger students. We have a little library space here too. The students take out books. Um, they read at the table as well. And then over here, you'll see Miss Summer's beautiful, bright, sunshiny classroom, grade three, four right now for this class, for this school year. Um, again, as I mentioned previously, the students are reflected in the work in the walls of the classroom. Um, really reflecting just what the curriculum is for grade three and four. Out the window um, is our learning garden, and our learning gar is, garden is something that the students work on um, during the spring and into that summer, those summer months. Obviously, we're not here for the summer, but we get things prepped and ready for the summer. Beyond that embankment, we have a wonderful green play space. We have uh, two basketball nets out on a blacktop area for the children to play on. It's really quite a wonderful space that we have here. So I'm going to take you even further. So we're almost done. Come on this way. We're gonna round the corner over here. And we're gonna walk into our gym space. And it's a bit echoey, hopefully you can hear me, but you will see our gym space um, again, it's where we have phys ed every day. We have um, functions, functions and events here as well. Uh, we welcome parents to our annual cafe night, something that's coming up very soon. We have students working on individual projects. It's uh, their brain builders projects. These, this is one of them. One of our students is very much interested in plants and is growing a whole host of plants um, to then hopefully distribute, I believe, to um, other students and families in the school. So it's really exciting. Kids get to explore, they get to go hands-on, really make meaning of that curriculum and that's what it's all about. It's certainly we have paper and pencil tasks as well, but we really want kids to, you know, dive into their learning. The world is your oyster, right? Learning just doesn't happen in one space. It happens everywhere. So that's what we're all about. 
We have one more, a couple more spaces to show you and then we will be done. So come on this way. I'm taking you into a familiar space right now and you will all have seen it before and you'll probably wonder why I'm bringing you into the kitchen. But this kitchen is really important because this kitchen is a, a place for us to do a lot of learning. So we have math in the kitchen here, we have science experiments that happen here. The kids absolutely love this space. This is where they can get hands on, they can dive into their learning, they plan menus, they bake, they cook, they clean up as well, and that's very <laughs> important. Um, but we also have a whole set of science equipment as well, microscopes, test tubes, beakers, and that's where they can you know, make meaning of the curriculum again with those hands-on interactive experiences. So this space is one of our most favorite spaces and it's back up and running and it's open again. Um, it was closed down during COVID-19, um, but we're back in the kitchen um, and diving into our learning here. So we're very happy to be doing that. So come on over, we have one more space left and that's our senior classroom. Our senior classroom is a cozy little classroom. Yes, it's on a stage, but it opens up. It's um, just, again, we have a mix of students in here, but we have a wonderful little space in which to learn and to grow. And as much as we have a classroom here, as I always tell parents, it's not so much about the classroom, it's about the learning, it's about the curriculum and what's happening. As much as I'm showing you classrooms today, you will see our students, not just in classrooms, you will see them out in the learning garden. You will see them out in our outdoor classroom. You will see them out in the community and down on, um, the students and teachers call it Nature Way and they do science experiments down there at Rattray Marsh. At Rattray Marsh, they do um, investigate ecosystems and learn about the, um, the habitats and, and um, creatures that are, that are living in, in and around our area. So it's really, really, really important to have kids interact with their learning and not just sitting at desks all day long. And that's not what we do. So we're a small school with a big heart and I invite you to give us a call. I invite you to just um, ask any questions. Feel free to message us. We're happy to help in any way we can. All right, thank you.